2014 Hot 6 GSL Season 1 Round 4 ZF versus Ring No proxies yet. No, I think uh, it's appropriate not to proxy in this series. Like, if Zest coach didn't tell him that Rain is scouting everywhere all the time, then Zest coach needs to be fired. So I know he said it. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's the most obvious. In the very first moments of game one, if I'm the coach, I'm like, all right, I know what I'm telling him. This is, like, going to change the whole series. If you know that you're not going to proxy gate at all, you know, if you Rain is playing this safe, all Which right, isn't even surprising because it's rain, but it's just like if you know that you can't proxy gate him, that really gives you an edge in the we series. We have these gateways in the exact same spot, so yeah. a build is identical as they possibly can be <laughs> true. Uh, so far. Do you think we're going to have a blink stalker all in here from either guy? I think one of them at least will go blink for sure. <laughs> it's, but, it's I mean just, a, but I mean a blink good. stalker all like in. Like all in? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I mean, you could. This map is very good for blank, and you definitely can uh, get good surface area around that ramp and stuff and force them back. But, I mean, like a, an all-in, like, four-gate blank stalker, I think that's a, a build generally reserved for giant maps, you know? Uh, the scouting is synced up, as is everything else the build so far. Yeah. So we have a little bit of downtime. We're still waiting for that cybernetic score to finish. Everything else from there is just speculation. The only differences we can see is uh, two probes on each for Zest and uh, three probes on each for Rain. A little bit more gas heavy for Rain. So, tasteless. Yeah, what's up, things? man? Uh, I'm great. Yeah. I'm really good. That's good. It's getting uh, nicer out in Seoul, the weather. It was so beautiful today. Yeah. I went for two walks. My dog is the, the happiest dog. For the past few months, Seoul has been a frozen hellscape. Um, yeah. So it's very nice. The weather's getting better now. I didn't wear a jacket to work today. I wore. I'll probably pay for it now. I wore a time, cool leather jacket, but I didn't zip up the front. Whoa. Whoa. They yeah, you did see, look cool. Everybody saw my really hip T-shirt, and they knew that you know, I'm a I'm a rocker. He's. <laughs> they, they looked at you. He's is like, he a rocker? You know, he looks thirty, but he's probably not because the clothes he's wearing. He's too. He's young at heart. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have a Twilight Council now uh, for Rain. I wonder if he'll be going once again for the DT opener. Well, we have uh, both players going for the Twilight Council now. If I had to guess, Rain is going to go uh, DT Robo again. It's kind of funny uh, how much he's liking that build so far today. He's already done it a couple times. Uh, you know, it's a build that went out of style slightly when the Oracle got so buffed, but... Uh, I got something funny to tell you, by the way. Huh? I spent two hours on the phone with my mom today helping her play Hearthstone. Oh, that's yeah. really cute. That's adorable. I helped my mom build a Hearthstone Warlock deck. Awesome. And she is rampaging against computers as we speak. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She's just, just she's wiping them up? She's computers, yeah. That's awesome. Let me tell you something, though. I, do, doing that... I actually know what it's, I know how hard tech support must be. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that's yeah. what I felt like when I'm there. I'm like, okay, like, what do you see? She's like, I see he dropped a 2-2. Two -two, and I'm like, okay, but what, what, which 2-2 two -two is it? Is it, it? Is it have abilities? Or is it, what do you think? It's pretty cute, man. Yeah. Well, uh, we do have this really good scout, really strong scout. Oh, he my God. He sees everything. Booyah. Whoa. Whoa. And he just gets out. That wow, was like really a fan save. fiction play right there. Yeah. Before the last laser connects, <laughs> he gets back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so funny having both of them have pylons right there right now. Um, but we see Blink start. Now, will the Dark Shrine be canceled? Because you don't actually have to cancel it just because it was scouted. It's actually still okay to let it finish. Okay, Zest is now going to chase away Rain. Rain, not sure how, much, how many more units are actually headed his way. You'd have Blink on the way for both players at the moment. Next is as well. The DTs are warping in. Yeah, one DT. And that's all he got out. Ah, yes. But he does lose a pile on there, which is a little bit annoying. Now, this is very much like what we saw before when these two builds hit each other, where it's like, well, you know what? He has to kind of keep some... Uh, he has to spend quite a bit of gas himself oh. to stop this. So Nicely it's not like done. he's going to have a huge Blink Stalker lead. Oh, wow, that was really well, sloppy. That was a surprise. So, um, 
the GT, though, did not get up. They're both players with very good uh, defense, weak offense. And uh, you know what? This time he has two DTs out, so he can actually get some good scouting done. He can control the map a little bit. And uh, that's going to just be kind of a long, annoying process for Zest to defend against these DTs. So that's nice. But he is getting a quicker forge, and this game probably will end up going pretty long. When you see two openings like this, you can't really kill each other. Yeah, well, especially not at this phase of the game. So they're both mm -hmm. going to get their expos up, and we'll probably see a game similar to uh, game number four, actually. Game number four. Let's see. That was two games ago. Which one was that? That was Game the... number four was the uh, one on Frost, where oh, okay, Zest yeah. uh, lost his third base in a pretty epic attack. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he, came, he cleans up that DT. Now Rain's coming out here, though, and a nice blink away, but a blink on top of that there from Rain. And, well, we'll see. Can you get another one? Nope, not quite. So that was very worthwhile for Zest, trading one Stalker and a couple hit points for a DT. And as of right now, we do have a slight probe lead for Rain, so that's quite nice. But wait, how many uh, sentries does Rain have, actually? I'm not sure that he really has any. Okay, never mind. He has two, so that's perfect. Much slower plus one, though, it looks like. Just like uh, previously, as you say. All right. This is... Uh it's pretty darn even tasteless. Yeah, um, there's not much happening here. I mean, we see, once again, like game number, uh, what was it, game number two? Zest is in an upgrade lead from here. Yeah, that's... Uh, that was the game on Daedalus Point. Daedalus, yeah, I think he was in an upgrade lead there, and he was in one on Frost as well. Yes, he was in one on Frost yeah. as well. Stalker's now coming up, uh, and they're going to drive out this scouting Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And this is probably the slowest part of PvP, is this part in the middle. Yeah, yeah. It's tense at the start, and it's tense at the end, but right now, uh, you know, you basically have unit comps on both sides that are very safe. A force field is readily available, so there's not much to gain from attacking. Mm -hmm. uh, shortly after the second base is finished, if your second base is also just recently finished. You know, really, Protoss is all about having the exact balance of yeah. units. All the races are, but Protoss, really more so. Uh, it's very true. And so from here, they already are starting to get that balance. Now, the funny thing is the end game PvP doesn't end up like that. After the first major battle, it is a lot of Zealot Archon reloading. Yeah. Uh, it gets scrambling. very sloppy very quickly. Yes. It's very neat until then. a total then. brawl. Mm -hmm. now, so again, here's Zest still ahead in the upgrades. Um, let's see if he keeps that plus three way up ahead. He can't miss a single beat. Once that plus mm -hmm. two finishes, he has to get right on that if he's going to keep a lead because Rain is catching up a little bit. You know, it's so interesting to see these patterns emerge from these players, uh, where it's like, for instance, we're going to see a lot of uh, upgrade advantages coming out of Zest. Rain will always get his defensive cannons quicker. Yes. Uh, you know, it's it's really neat to see the the different ways these guys play. Now, will Rain make extra probes for that expand? Because he's already sitting on 45. We might see him just sit on 45 to 48 probes and not really mine from that nexus. He may be going for the same type of game that we saw in Frost. In fact, he has one more gateway right now. Making that uh, Warp Prism as well. Okay, um, we already have the Zealot Archon combination starting to build up here for Rain. Now, Rain did win with a great timing there uh, in game number four mm. uh, with that. Let's see if it's going to be as effective mm. as, as uh, this game here because this game's looking star starting to look very similar to that yeah. so far. That, that game actually was quite interesting, the way it uh, turned out. With Even now with the Nexus being taken first for Rain, very the, similar. Yeah, the way that he killed him off was... It was almost a little bit weird, because he caught up in upgrades and then hit after using the Warp Prism to kind of mess up his opponent slightly, got into a better position, things like that. And he might be going for the same thing again. His Nexus is about to finish, and uh, <laughs> no probes there yet. <laughs> Uh, Zest is just reloading with more Zealots and Archons. As you can see, they're both at exactly 45. That's the number they deem ideal for this. Uh, and there was a recall back mm -hmm. there uh, to home. All right, so that actually gives Zest a little advantage because now Rain has less energy on his uh, Mothership Core. And, of course, Time Warp, one of the most powerful spells in the we entire game. We also have a Warp Prism coming in here now. Uh, to harass. Ooh, some very nice control there by Zest to stop that so he doesn't have to warp home. In fact, and he's, he's going for Nexus. Third. 
He's this gonna get it too. This just dies. Rain's gonna yeah. give that up, no problem. He can't go down that ramp against that. No way, no how. That super pylon with Chrono Boost is gone. Yeah, that's that's kind of rough. And I think this locks him into just going for an attack. So right now what we should see out of Zest is zero probes made. Just lots and lots of units. Yeah. In fact, I think Zest can win this if he just keeps making units and he handles harass fine. Yeah. yeah. I think that's really what he needs to do. Oh, hold on. Rain is going to make this Nexus. Regardless of him making this Nexus, he has to move out and do something because his Warp Prism has done really very little damage. So he needs to make something happen here. It doesn't have to be too big. Like, if he can just get a reasonable engagement that doesn't even... Like, the armies don't need to erase each other. If he can pick off a, a chunk of army and back off without losing too much, something like that might be enough. Still probably be slightly behind after that, but like he needs to really move out very soon here and do something. Look at this, a four probe lead, and that's going to get bigger. Well, uh, we see Rain now poking out here. He's going to see if he can do any damage right now. Um, it's going to be hard to say. It really depends on the angling they get in over here. It looks like Zest is more than prepared, though. You know, with the Warp Prism there, he could even dump off some Zealots in the middle of that army and draw some Archon fire. Yeah, that's very, very cool that he's trying something gotta like careful, that. got to be careful, though, because the Archons bunch up like that. They can all just blast the uh, Warp Prism as well. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to um, fly it right over. Okay, here we go. That's actually uh, two really good Time Warps coming out of Zest here. One okay, one coming out of Rain. Now, Rain in kind of a smaller choke point. Yeah, his Zealots are not doing the damage they need no, to be doing. certainly not. He does warp in some more here. I and another like Time Warp goes down. I fake Archons here as well. That's awesome. Yeah, they're really soaking up a lot of damage. Zest fake Archon in the back just now starting to take some extra damage here, whereas Rain's two have taken quite a bit more. Yeah, and you can see that uh, Zest uh, was not privy to the fact that some of those Archons were fake there. But regardless, Zest still wins that engagement right now. 98 supply to 79. Nice pick up there. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Now he's going to try to get at least this other Immortal. He already bruised the other ones. Oh, man. I think that this might have been enough damage for, uh, His for Zest. counter attack to just work. Well, look at the Immortal number here. I mean, if he gets any extra Stalkers or anything else, it's going to be too much. The Immortals, even though they're, they're good against the units that weren't even intended to be good against, you know? Yeah. The they're Immortals are actually just good against, like, everything, basically. Yeah. Uh, and in fact, with two against four, that's one of the easiest ways to tell the health of an army. Uh, yeah. Like one of these armies, you just count the immortals. Well, that's what usually when you start to see an army uh, lose the fight is when yeah. the immortals start to disappear pretty okay. quickly. This is Rain giving up. We should be seeing a GG in a second. Well, hold on. Well, I think I Zest mean, wanted to give up there for a second. He's like, oh, wait a minute. I got to micro this a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> GG. Zest goes on to the finals. Wow. Uh, Royal Rotor. Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> perhaps. 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 Well, Zest making that finals a big deal indeed. Taking on Rain 4 to 2. That is a strong showing for sure, but you know what? He was the better player. He was. No, like, for sure he was the better player. Talk about adapting to Rain's playstyle. I mean, Zest coming here so strong. Wow, Rain just crushed right now. Probably a very frustrating loss. Yeah. You have to imagine, uh, Rain, I think like most of our viewers, came here today expecting uh, to see a dominant play from Rain. A Zest, clearly a worthy opponent, but, you know, come on, it's Rain, right? Of course he's going to win. Apparently not. No, uh, Rain out, but you know what? A round of four finish, very, very strong. Of course, he'll be in Codes again next season. So uh, we'll see him again then. But for now, it's all about Zest. And who will face him in the finals? Life, I hope. Well, I mean, I even like if that. it's SOS, I, I mean, SOS Sue, uh, that's still a really good one. <laughs> that ID's still giving us trouble. Always so, will. Zest, our victor today, winning 4-2. Uh, quite convincing. Join us on Friday. It's going to be Life Against Sue, a ZDZ, to ultimately make our final a sick PVZ. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely awesome, no matter which final that we get here. Lots of great storylines going on to see a KT player up there in the finals of GSL as well. Very, very nice. It's their first time in the finals since they switch over to StarCraft 2. Sorry today wasn't longer. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was quick, but it's PvP. You know, that's, I guess you can kind of expect it. At least it wasn't quick. a 4-0. Uh, hopefully, no. you know, I was hoping for some more games, but uh, it didn't happen. But the PvPs that we did have today were awesome. By the way, yeah. great job, uh, Artosis. You're well not going to be here on Friday. That's right. You're going to be, be out Wolf of time. With you. Uh, it'll be Wolf and I. Again. I'm out of time. <laughs> Don't uh, miss out, though, Friday. That's going to be epic. And, uh, of course, the finals are going to be uh, even better.
Guys, thank you so much for joining us here at uh, GSL Codes. We'll see you in two days. Good night.